All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Nick Walenda, and I want to personally welcome you guys to Big Apple Circus right here at Lincoln Center. It's always an honor to be back here in New York City. I was just uh, talking with the mayor, telling him my family history, and our first performance ever in the United States was back in 1928, right here in New York City. So it's always an honor to be here. But before I get any further, I just want to welcome, of course, our distinguished guest, Mayor Eric Adams, who also walks a tightrope. Uh, that's one thing that we definitely have in common. I also want to give a special thank you to Deborah Landsberg from iHeartMedia as well as uh, Caroline Mendel from the Child Mind Institute. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate you guys. For 45 years, the foundation of the Big Apple Circus has been based on philanthropy. And I'm honored to carry on that initiative. One of the greatest joys in life is giving back. It is my personal goal that everyone and anyone that would normally not have the opportunity to see the art of circus would get that great opportunity. From Olympic athletes to death-defying daredevils, the performers under this big top continue to inspire others every single performance here at Lincoln Center that nothing is impossible. We are a circus with a purpose. And I'm excited to announce that in the spirit of Giving Tuesday, we've partnered with iHeartMedia as well as Child Mind Institute so that throughout December, the Big Apple Circus will be giving our Tuesday evening performances away to the local community and families in our area in hopes of inspiring all of them to do what we do at the circus and chase our dreams and never give up. With that being said, it is my incredible honor to welcome to the podium our amazing mayor, Eric Adams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Nick, an amazing story. Uh, as you have defeated what many people will believe is the impossible. And as we talk backstage, sharing how it's really mind over matter. And although you do these, what appears to be death defying feats by walking over uh, structures from high heights, you're showing us how to remain present and grounded as we deal with some difficult times now. And the partnerships that we have assembled together uh, with uh, iHeart Media, uh, Deborah, we want to thank you for being here, and uh, Caroline Mendel, uh, and my good friend Ken Sunshine, Sunshine, who understands the power of this circus. For over 45 years here uh, in the city, uh, doing these amazing performances and now showing the power of this season. People often get it mixed up. Uh, the season is called Thanksgiving, not thanks receiving. And how do we give? Uh, these performers behind me, uh, they give uh, their heart and souls to make New Yorkers laugh, to enjoy uh, life after coming from over two years of the uh, negative impact of COVID, to be able to sit down with family again and to sit in the atmosphere that's uniquely identifiable as a circus uh, to see the enjoyment of life as we watch everything from jugglers to tightrope artists to the famous clowns that uh, do the entertainment that keeps us smiling. Uh, this is what the Big Apple Circus represents. But they're now also opening on Giving Tuesdays and stating that every New Yorker, doesn't matter your economic status, we know you're going through hard times uh, during this moment of our lives, that uh, Giving Tuesday is going to give back to them, allow you to come here and enjoy the circus. I look forward to a great show, and we're going to get the word out as much as possible uh, to make sure that all New Yorkers know the circus is not only in town, but you could come and be in the seats and enjoy the performances. Nick, you and your family, thank you so much. Continue to do the great things you're doing. Hi, uh, I I'm Ken Sunshine. On behalf of the Big Apple Circus, but really on behalf of New Yorkers, I'm, I'm here to thank uh, Mayor Adams for being here yet again. I've, I'm a veteran of New York politics. I've known every mayor since John Lindsay. Some I've known real well, some I didn't want to know so well. Every one of them has at least acknowledged the entertainment community. It's hard not to love the Big Apple Circus. It's as New York as anything. But let me say something that is just the fact. 
There has never been a mayor like Eric Adams who has embraced the world of entertainment as a business, if not one of the great things that makes New York, New York. Besides the jobs and the ancillary jobs, hotels, tourism, uh, restaurants, etc., cetera, it's, part, it's the spirit of what makes us unique. And there's never been a mayor, and certainly in recent times, that not only embraces the community, but gets the economic force it is. And you know what's great about the entertainment community? We don't want anything from government. This is not my friends in real estate, they're intimately asking for a lot of things. All we want to do is be able to entertain and attract tourists. So again, thank you, Eric Adams, for embracing this world and embracing the world of live entertainment. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm Caroline Mendel. I'm a clinical psychologist and senior director of clinical services for school and community programs at the Child Mind Institute. On behalf of the Child Mind Institute, I would like to thank the Big Apple Circus for giving us the opportunity to brighten the holiday season for so many of the students that we reach by sharing the joy of the circus. At the Child Mind Institute, we are dedicated to transforming the lives of children and families struggling with mental health and learning challenges by giving them the help they need to thrive. Our school and community programs clinicians see the need firsthand, and we have provided mental health services and professional training to over 60,000 students, educators, and caregivers in high-need New York City public and charter schools. At this critical moment for child and adolescent mental health, we would like to remind families in New York City that help is available and to please visit childmind.org to be connected to resources. Thank you once again to the Big Apple Circus for giving young people the chance to dream big. No questions on the tickets, anything like that that Nick can answer. All good? Great, let's take a photo.